If you're just getting started out in metal detecting and want to know some of the best places you can hunt, stay tuned. Hey, hey everyone, J3B here and thank you for joining me on the weekly walk. Today we're going to be discussing places you're able to metal detect. A lot of people wonder where you're able to metal detect, what's allowed, where you can, where you can't metal detect. Well, I'm here to tell you. And the number one place that I'm going to tell you guys to start off metal detecting is in your own backyard. When you first pick up a metal detector and you want to try it out, the best thing you can do is metal detect your own property. I'll tell you, that's where I started and I found some pretty neat stuff. Other than that, you can metal detect your friends and family's houses. Give your friends a call, give your parents a call, your brothers, sisters, nephews, nieces, whoever. Give them a call, see if they'll let you detect their property, because I'll tell you, there's treasures to be found there too. Next, public parks and beaches. Those are always good places to start off, but make sure you find out from the city first if metal detecting is allowed. Some places have bans, and I know you don't want to break any rules. Forests. If you can get a permission to go into a forest or there's city property that's a forest and you're allowed to detect on it, that is an awesome place because what was, what is now a forest might not have been a hundred years ago. There could have been houses there. And now it's up to you to find lost history and treasure. Farm fields are another awesome place you can go metal detect. And I know one of my favorite places is a farm field permission that I have. And I'll tell you, I have found stuff from the trade period there. Axes, buttons, you name it, it's been found there. Another fun place that you can try metal detecting is in rivers and streams. You need to make sure you have a waterproof metal detector, but I'll tell you, there's some treasure to be found there. Schools, public schools, high schools, great places to detect. I've been there many times and I've walked out with silver and gold rings. Always try to find the owner of those rings if you can. But uh, yeah, another rule with schools though, don't go when it's open. Trust me, if you go to a public school and it looks a little weird, you could get arrested. And finally, private permissions. If it's door knocking, co-workers, if you get permission to metal detect somebody's house, that's a good way to find some lost history and treasure. You never know where treasure may be, guys, so keep your options open and always look for new places to detect because history is always under your feet. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for sticking around and watching this week's episode of The Weekly Walk. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it maybe uh, opened up a new possibility for you to go metal detecting. Anyways, guys, take care, happy hunting, and God bless.